I'm going to go Messi 2010 against Arsenal in the quarterfinals. That was, uh, a, that was a pleasurable one as well, because I think they drew 2-2 at the Emirates and Arsenal yeah. going there with a chance. Oh, yeah, we could probably do something against this Barcelona. No, didn't happen. No <laughs> chance you look, for you, Arsenal. You look at the team Arsenal put out and you think it was absolutely embarrassing to, to go there with any sort of confidence when you look at that team. I mean, no disrespect. It is Arsenal fans, to be fair, as well. They always have optimism for no reason as well, which is crazy. But no, that, that Messi one was, it was still, what was he? he was still fairly young. Um, yeah. And I was watching it back again yesterday, and there's a clip where he he didn't even score from this one. He scored four, and the, the clip that stood out was he uh, he picks the ball up, and you can see the whole Arsenal squad just goes, "Well, he's quicker than us, physically better than us, so stronger than me. He can run past me. He can pick the ball up." They dropped off him, and he raffled one top corner. The they tried to go and press him, and he the clip I'm on about, he 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 starts running, pick the ball up. Ran at Sylvester playing Sylvester, is it playing centre yeah. Arsenal? And the look on Sylvester's face, he's absolutely <laughs> terrified. He doesn't know whether it can go and press him because he'll unbalance him and, and slop it in the bottom corner. And just the impact he had on that, that game was aside from scoring. I, yeah, probably the one where you look at and go, Yeah, this, this kid's next level. What took Lionel you know, Messi next level for me was 2011. That was yeah, that was I when am. I... No, 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 no. We're talking Bernabeu. We're talking semi-final. We're talking Jose Mourinho playing Lozano Diaro in centre defensive midfield to try and nullify Lionel you know, Messi. Did it nullify him? No. Because <laughs> we're talking about one of the easiest assists of all time from Sergio Busquets. Literally just setting the ball up for him just before, just after the halfway line. He then runs past the entire defence, the entire midfield, slotting it past Ica Casillas or Diego Lopez. I forgot the goalkeeper who was at the time. Past Sergio Ramos as well, which, which we mentioned as well. On his way to the Champions League final for a second time in three years because of that amazing goal. It was still the first leg, but we knew the tie was over with that second away goal. And Lionel you know, Messi just did it and he just poked it past it because Casillas as well. And he silenced the Bernabeu. Uh, mm. I could easily go for so many more of them because like, like the, the whole topic at the beginning was the best ones. But if we're talking about the best ones, a lot of the players we mentioned, Dan and Carl, when we mentioned earlier, wouldn't make it on the top 10 list because Messi would be dominating that list. And I'm not even talking about the Champions League final where he was iconic against Manchester United. That goal where he looked like he was just taking the roof off Wembley Never seen him celebrate like that. It just goes off to the fans and it was unreal what he did. But I'm going to go for that that Real Madrid one. That was, for me, that was somewhat special. And you're just hearing, it's rather Clive Tilsley or Peter Jury saying, wonderful, 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 and just finished. And I've never seen my dad, who's not really interested in football, get as excited over a goal and so happy over a goal with the rest of his kids that are excited about football. And he was just like, this is insane. This is wonderful. And yeah. we will never see a player like Lionel Messi ever. And the fact that we are lucky enough to have seen so many memories from Lionel Messi. That one, apart from the one that gives me PTSD, the one in 2009, we scored that Lupin header against Man United. I'm not mentioning those two, but they are obviously great moments. But yeah, I'm definitely going for that Messi one against Real Madrid um, in 2010. But yeah, there's so many more we can go through as well. There's so many more against Arsenal. I think 2011, 3-1, um, he does it as well. There's that time against... Do you remember that time against Man City? We won 4 0. Um, I think he may have not made James Miller in that one as well, which is crazy to see. Um, that, the other one I'd got on mind, that, that, you, we could, you could make a separate podcast entirely, couldn't you? But the other one I got on mind was you've just said it that the 2011 final when he, he rose at the back post, you've got Vidic and Ferdinand in there, and it was all that the was high, 2009, that one. 2009, all that Rome, all yeah, the yeah. High, you're of Messi, Ronaldo, and, and then with him, was it in? 15, 20 minutes. Uh, just nods one. Nod one home. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot a good one. Carwin, you'll remember this one. Barcelona free, Liverpool nil, Lionel Messi free kick. Oh. Slow motion. The only reason I didn't pick that was because of the second leg. Still a good moment for Messi, though. It's an iconic performance by Messi. It's true, because that second leg is just very forgettable for Man United fans. <laughs> and Barcelona fans, of course, uh, which is the case as well. But, uh, well do you have to pick one? or how we... 
how are we doing this? Are we going to pick one? I don't think we'll ever pick one. We'll be here for another hour if you have to decipher which which one was good. But I think honestly, I'm not. I'm not changing from my opinion. That's personally me. Dan, are you going to change? Are, are you going to think, or stick to your one? Yeah, I'm going to stick with my 2010 Arsenal one. Go on, Carlin. Sticking or twisting? I'm going to stick as well. I think it's just one that I had in my head straight away. Yeah. That's the thing as well. You're looking at it and you're just kind of there like, we can't decipher it as well, but we're going to have to do a... We've definitely just done a, like a top three Lionel Messi Champions League moments and they were it. Probably forgetting an obvious one, to be fair. We always do. There's <laughs> always going to be one. That's why I thought about the Barcelona one straight away against Liverpool. Like, oh, that was a big one as well, yeah. um, which is crazy.